Hi Hugo Reed. We have a funny book today. It's called The Squeaky Door and it's retold by Margaret Reed MacDonald. The pictures are by Mary Newell De Palma. Why do you think it says it's retold by Margaret Reed MacDonald and not that's who the author is? Well, usually when it's an old, old story, like a fairy tale or a story that's been around a long time, this person didn't make up the story, but they're telling it in a new way. Like sometimes in the library, we'll read books that are like Cinderella books or um, Goldilocks books, but they're a newer twist on it, a different way of telling it. So that's a retold story. They're not actually making it up new. You could probably retell some fairy tales you know like the three bears and make it a little bit different. So let's see what the squeaky door. Little boy went to grandma's house to spend the night. Grandma said, I have a surprise for you. You get to sleep in the big brass bed all by yourself. But are you going to be scared? Little boy said, no, not me. Grandma tucked the little boy in. She kissed the boy goodnight. Mwah. Giving him a kiss. Now when I go out and turn off the light and close the door, are you going to be scared? No, not me. So Grandma tiptoed out. She turned off the light. Click. She closed the door, squeak, and the little boy began to cry. Ooh, he looks tiny in that big bed, doesn't he? Do you see him way over here? He's small. Wah! Grandma ran back inside. Oh my goodness, were you scared? No, not me. I think you were scared. How would you like to sleep with the cat? Yes, yes, yes. Look how he's worried. Would you like to sleep with a cat? So, Grandma brought the cat from the cat basket. She tucked in the cat. She kissed the cat goodnight. She kissed the boy goodnight. Now when I go out and turn off the light and close the door, are you going to be scared? No, no, not me. So Grandma tiptoed out. She turned off the light, click, and she closed the door. Squeak! Wah! Meow! Oh my goodness, were you scared? How would you like to sleep with the dog? Yes, yes, yes. So, Grandma brought the dog from the dog house. Here he comes. Look, she's putting a nightcap on the dog. Isn't that silly? She tucked the dog in. She kissed the boy goodnight. Mwah. She kissed the cat goodnight. Mwah. She kissed the dog goodnight. Mwah. Now when I go out and turn off the light and close the door, are you going to be scared? No, not me. So Grandma tiptoed out. She turned off the light, click, and she closed the door. Squeak. What do you think is going to happen? Wah! Meow! Woof woof! They're all scared. Oh my goodness! Were you scared? No, not me. I know. Would you like to sleep with the pig? Yes, yes, yes! Would you like to sleep with the pig? Oh! So. Grandma brought the pig in from the pig pen. Look, she's getting him out. She's giving him a bath. What's she putting on him? Pajamas. 
She tucked the pig in. She kissed the boy goodnight. She kissed the cat goodnight. She kissed the dog goodnight. She kissed the pig goodnight. Yuck. Now, when I go out and turn off the light and close the door, are you going to be scared? No, not me. I think you will be. So Grandma tiptoed out. She turned off the light. Click. She closed the door. Squeak. Wah! Meow. Woof, woof. Wink, wink, wink. Oh my goodness. <coughs> Excuse me, were you scared? No, not me. I have an idea. Why don't you sleep with the horse? Yes, yes, yes. Do you think that's a good idea? Would you like a horse in your bed? So Grandma went outside to the stable and got the horse. Here she comes. <laughs> she has a lot of pajamas, doesn't she? There she goes. She tucked in the horse. Then she kissed the boy goodnight. She kissed the cat goodnight. She kissed the dog goodnight. She kissed the pig goodnight. Yuck. She kissed the horse goodnight. Now when I go out and turn off the light and close the door, are you going to be scared? No, not me. So, Grandma tiptoed out. She turned off the light. Click. She closed the door. Squeak. Look at the horse's legs are hanging out. <gasps> nay, nay. Wah, wah. Meow. Woof, woof. Wink, wink. Kaboom! The bed broke. Oh my goodness, this will never do. This will never do. Look, they're all on the floor. It crashed the bed. No wonder, that was a lot of animals. Grandma put the horse back. She put the pig back. She put the dog back. She put the cat back. Grandma put the little boy in bed with her and Grandpa that night. And the next morning, Grandma got out her tool chest and she fixed that broken bed. Then she got out her oil can and oiled that squeaky door. Squeak, squeak, glub, glub, glub. Squeak, squeak, glub, glub, glug. Squeak, squeak, glub, glub, glub. She's putting oil on it. No sound at all. Yes. She's making it so it won't squeak when it closes, isn't she? And that night, Grandma tucked the little boy in. She tucked the cat in and nobody else. Then she kissed the boy goodnight. She kissed the cat goodnight. Now, when I go out and turn off the light and close the door, are you going to be scared? No, not me. So Grandma tiptoed out. She turned off the light, click. She closed the door. Shh. She listened. She heard the boy snoring. She heard the cat snoring. And that's the story of Grandma, Little Boy, and the Squeaky Door. The end. And it says, an author's note gives us a little extra information. It says it's based on a Puerto Rican folk song, La Cama. It was retold as a short story. So that's where they got this. And that's why it's retold, because it was actually a song to start with. The squeaky door. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.